happy guinea pig! Here we go! Hi, I'm Aline. Welcome to my kitchen. And today I'm making a very special dish for Piggy. This is his birthday dessert. Uh, I invented this. When I say invented, I mean I created the recipe. Oh my gosh, close to 20 years ago. I would say somewhere around 15 to 17, actually. Um, I did not want a cake for my birthday that year. I wanted something different. So this is what I created and came up with. So I'm making it for Piggy. And I call it Lemon Berry Crisp. And the good thing about this is you can use whatever berries are in season or whatever berries you can find. Uh, when I made it, I made it with blueberries. When Piggy and I looked at the grocery store the other day, we did not find any blueberries. We found blackberries and strawberries, so that's what we're going to and make. And they have raspberries, too. They had raspberries, too, but I don't like raspberries that well. They just didn't have no blueberries. Didn't have no blueberries. So we decided on blackberries and strawberries, and that's what we're going to do is a mixture of blackberry and strawberry. But I'm going to give you a list of my ingredients here and tell you what they're for. I have five tablespoons of butter, melted. I have one and a, about one and a fourth cups of crushed graham cracker. Uh, this is graham cracker crumbs, but it's uh, one package of graham crackers that's been crushed. Is what this is. I have a fourth of a cup of rolled oats and a fourth of a cup of granulated sugar. And this is for the crisp part of it, the crust. Over here, I have. Uh, Double check my ingredients. I have one cup of sugar. And it calls for either three large or four medium eggs. So I've got four medium eggs. It calls for one and a half cups of milk. And because I want this to be thick, I'm using evaporated milk. And I have a half cup of lemon juice. Three tablespoons of uh, all-purpose flour. And one teaspoon of lemon extract. That's all the ingredients. That's that part of it, right? Right. I have uh, my oven preset at 350 degrees because you have to bake the crust for about five to eight minutes. I'll probably do it roughly eight. Just put your crumbs in a bowl. Put your oats in there. And your fourth of a cup of sugar. Y'all, I'm just going to use my hands because for me it's easier to do it that way. And then you pour your five tablespoons of butter on top of that. And you just mix it together. And you don't have to worry about greasing the bottom of your pan because the butter will grease it once you put the crumbs in there. Got everything mixed together. Take for Pour that in there. Put my hand on my towel here. And I just take a little measure cup and tap this down and pat it down. And you can use whatever you want to use. You can use your hands, you can use a glass. Whatever. If you want to use a metal cup, you can use a metal measure cup. Like I said, it's entirely up to you what you use. And this right here is just to help pack it down. I'm use my hand to pack it just a little bit. And here we go. Give that to Piggy. And I'm going to put this in my oven. I've already got it preheated. And I'm gonna set the timer for eight minutes. There you go. Got it set for about eight minutes. Okay, now I'm getting ready to make the filling part of this. And rearrange my ingredients so I know what I've got where. Okay. Now I've got a uh, stir with hot water and I'm going to bring this to a boil because I'm going to be making this in what I call a double boil. 
I don't have a double bar, so I make and improvise my own. So for this part of it, I'm going to where do these come in? Those come in on the top. We can go ahead and set those back in the refrigerator until you get ready to do them. I just wanted to show what I was using. I said I put my eggs in my bowl here. Are we doing that other later or are we going to do that tomorrow? We'll do it later. Okay. Get it all done in one day? Yep. Okay, I've got my four eggs in my bowl. I'm going to whisk them up just a little bit. Put my sugar. That's one cup of sugar, by the way. In with my eggs. And we'll set that on there. And I'm going to pull this for me just a little bit. And I'm going to whisk this together. And I'm going to go ahead and put my flour in there. That's three tablespoons of flour. that very well. My exhibition home, there's that whisk action. Y'all, I've had a whisk and used one for close to 30 years and never had an immersion blender or anything like that. I've always had to just learn to whisk everything by hand. Catch. I'm saying it's still screwed stuff, but that's okay. okay. See Water's still not to a boil yet, y'all, but it's getting there. I'm going to go ahead and open my milk and have it ready. And since I'm using evaporated milk, I'm going to shake up the can really well. And this is a 12 ounce can, so this is one and a half cups. Whew. Got some tilting action going on. Got what? Had a little bit of tilting action. My bowl slid over. Uh -huh. And if y'all said, this looks like your basic pudding recipe. It is very similar to my basic pudding recipe. Uh, it's just going to be a lot thicker. That's one reason why I use the evaporated milk. Uh, if I was making regular pudding, I would probably use whole milk, 2% milk, or something like that, uh, or a diluted version of the evaporated milk. Oh yeah, it's boiling now. And I'm going to take and I'm going to pour my milk in here. Actually, my recipe for my banana pudding is where I came up with this custard recipe for the filling for this dish. I just wanted lemon instead of vanilla. So I had to figure out how I was going to do the lemon. And yes, I can whisk my other hand. I'm not as good left-handed on the whisk as I am right-handed, but sometimes I have to have a break. And what this does is this actually cooks this slowly from the steam at the bottom. I'm going to put the lemon juice in. And I will put my lemon extract in when I take this off of the heat. And all the lemon extract does is gives it that little, little extra lemon oomph. Mm. 
Y'all can see that. That's already starting to get a little bit thick. I'm going to make sure it gets really thick. And the thing about this is once I get this done, I will actually set this in the refrigerator to let it get cool and cool down really well. And that will give my crust plenty of time to cool down as well. And speaking of crust, it's coming out of the oven here in just a minute. Put that right there. Actually, I'll cut that off. Now that baked for eight minutes, and that was all it needed. It doesn't have to be dark brown and burnt or whatever, it just needs to be cooked there. Yeah, with that too. None of that too. The longer this cooks, the thicker it will get, y'all. Yeah. Like I said, I wanted to do something special for Piggy for his birthday. Piggy don't really celebrate his birthday. He, like me, it's just another day of the year. But I do like to have a nice little dessert every now and then for us. Ain't nothing special to it anymore as far as I'm concerned. It's just another day. Yeah. But I will take the dessert. Well, Piggy knows I make the dessert out of love. It, it, it's a gift of love. It might not, it might be all I can give him as a gift. It is a dessert or cook him a good meal. But uh, to me, something handmade or done out of love or cooked for you, it's worth a lot more than anything you buy for you at store. Getting stuff out of the store is nice. You know, maybe something you need or can use. So if somebody takes and makes you a handmade anything or a home cooked anything that you can't put a price on that i think the first year we were together it was first or second year i can't remember i made piggy a what was it eight eight layer coconut pie uh, coconut cake for your birthday and when i say eight layers it's four layers that have been cut in half for eight thin layers with the ice and stuff in between them. Piggy liked that cake. That was good. And then one year I made him a cake. I think it was the first year I made him a coconut cake. The next year I made him a decorated cake because I was practicing my decorating techniques for my wedding cake. So I wanted to practice on his birthday cake. <laughs> now it actually turned out pretty good too. Yeah, Piggy wasn't complaining. <laughs> it was cake. I've tried to make him a cake every year uh, that we've been together. Or a pie. I made him cheesecake one year. Uh, I made, I think it was oatmeal cake one year. I think. I can't remember on that one. If y'all notice, this is getting really thick. And that steam is really hot. You know, hot's hot, heat's hot, steam's hot. Like I said, the longer that sits and cooks, as long as you're stirring it, the thicker it's going to get. And I want it to get pretty thick, so I'm going to. If y'all see that steam blowing back toward me, that's because we got a fan in here blowing toward me. I told Piggy I needed some air. And I think we're about there on the thickness part because once it cools, it'll be even thicker. Oh, yeah. There you go. See how thick that is? That is nice and thick. I'm getting ready to take that off of the burner there. Cut that off. Set this right here. And I'm 
I'm going to pour this vanilla extract in here. It's supposed to be in a taste bang, but I think it kind of evaporated. You need your nailer to do that again? No, I'll make do with it. Look, I know I put a teaspoon in there, but it kind of put a little over a teaspoon actually. So that'd be fine. Stir that in. Yeah, with that other pot. I am done with that hot water. I can just be dumped in my tap. Little warm, Pete. I was counting on the water in the sink cut it off a little bit but I think it caught me before it hit that water. Ah. Well yeah, I'm gonna let this cool, probably let it cool for two or three hours in the refrigerator. And then I'll come back, pour it in the crust, and top it with the berries. I'm gonna give Piggy my whisk. Just think folks, all these dishes are washed too. Yep. Piggy has got everything cleaned up. And uh, while this is cooling down, I get to start working on a new video. So, uh, we'll see y'all after a while. We're mad! Hi, y'all. I'm getting ready to put the filling in on top of the crust. And this is what my filling looks like, y'all. And it is really thick, which is the way I wanted it. So, I'm just going to take and I'm going to scrape this down in here. When she gets done with that, I can rinse that bowl out and clean it up. Yeah, because if I have my way, there ain't going to be much in here for the pig to scrape out and clean and do the licky lickies on the bowl and everything like that. That's fine. I'll get it when we cut that thing up. The pig knows he's going to get some one way or another. Take, right. that, take that as a, however you like, Mike. Alright, yeah. Just spread this out. You see, like I said, that is nice and thick. I don't think I've ever made this for Piggy. This will be a first for him. Yeah, well, Piggy's already Saturday. <laughs> and he's got his taste buds heightened at the moment. I ain't gonna go into why. But they are. Well, let's just say, Piggy, we made a special, di uh, special dish. Well, is this going to come out before or after that? It's going to come out before, but it's just a special dish that we made. I ain't saying what it was. We'll just say it was good. This oh, will come yeah. out Wednesday. Actually, this will come out on your birthday. Yeah, well, you know. I know. It's just another day to you. And y'all like, yes, I'm being picky. I'm trying to get it as smooth as possible. Never be really what I know about certain things, my birthday is just my physical first. My birthday was just the day that uh, marked my deployment to journey Earth. To do what I got to do here. When and when it's, it's over, I get to go back. Oh, wow. That's just Piggy licking the spatula, y'all. All right, now it's time for the fruit. And what oh, I'm going to do wow. is I'm just going to take and drizzle. I drop my blackberries on here. That's almost like the back bite. It didn't hit me right at first. It, it took a minute and then it came back in. It's like, oh, wow. And I'm just going to drop them randomly on there. And when I did the blueberries, I just spread the blueberries all over it. Since I'm adding strawberries to this, just kind of random dropping. That that that's. Piggy's like, why ain't you made this before? I'm gonna have to put that up there with that black cherry cheesecake. That might even beat the black cherry cheesecake. That's that was just that pudding like stuff. I'm just dropping strawberries randomly on here. And that right there, folks, for those of you who might claim, oh, well, you just whipped. Well, 
that right there is worth being whipped over. <laughs> so y'all can just be jealous. Call me whipped all you want to. Yeah, there you go. That's all it is, is jealousy that I got it and they ain't. Well folks, that's what it looks like with all the fruit on it. How long before we get to eat it? We can cut it now and eat it. Well we can do a little pace, share it. Share my booty. <laughs> I'm gonna cut me a piece and I'll cut you a piece. I'll cut you a small piece. <laughs> I know. I've had this. Remember? I All right. Well, put, cut a piece off. Put them on the plates. I'll get you a fork. Okay. I ain't going to cut a very big piece, y'all. I'm just going to cut it right there. It'll probably be better after it sits a bit. Y'all see how good she is. She got them forks even from the other side of that table. I tell you, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm just going to Oh, yeah. That I might just, have to have a spoon to get this out with. I don't that, think that's just slam dinging banging. And no, I ain't saying what it is either. Y'all just have to wait to find out. Um, that, 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 that's what you need. That black spatula. That black spatula. Mm -hmm. Y'all, I'm going to go ahead and taste that right there. I know it's good. Oh, wow. Well. Yeah, it definitely probably needs to sit in the refrigerator some more, but I'm ready for a piece of this. Give that to the piggy. And y'all, yes, it did fall apart a little bit, but you know what? It eat the same. That's why I start saying, you're going to eat the same. But I'll I guarantee you, it'll taste just as good. Eric, you handed me something dirty. I had to tell you back clean. Yes, I saw that, piggy. Thank you for that. Same thing with that thing right there. Hmm. I can't throw this thing over there because I think you can keep it over here somewhere. I keep it hung up over there on that one hook at the very back of that. Well, I'm going to let you handle that because I got it and I got this griddle plane over here. All you got to do is put them up. I'll put these over here out of my way. I need pictures, Piggy. Picture! Right now, there. folks, when we were looking at houses and stuff like that, we go through the pictures. I call them pack of tours. Pack of tours. Oh, man. That just looks, oh, man. Ho, 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 ho. The folks, that right there could almost be better than taking something we all like. <laughs> I'm just saying. It's better than chocolate, yo. Oh, dude. About anything better than chocolate. I used to love chocolate, but, you know, since it decided to be a, a weapon of death for me, you know, I, I've changed my mind on it. All right, y'all. Here, we Here we go. Here we go. Oh, yeah, there it is. <laughs> Look at them eyeballs roll. <laughs> mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Dad, nabbit, I can't wait. That, folks, is my lemonberry crisp. I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you haven't, I hope you try this. This is an amazing dessert. And really, truthfully, it doesn't have a lot of sugar in it for the size of the dessert. I think Piggy's almost speechless, shop. Well, honey, I'm just going to say, if ever I am. Uh, I'm in the mood and you ain't and you trying to uh, stall me. Just hand me a plate of this. Okay? <laughs> uh, Thank y'all very much for watching the video. Hope y'all have a great day. Bye y'all. Bye y'all. Where's my boy?